Hello everyone, good to see you again. It's March. Time flies so fast. I can't believe it's already third month passed after the new year. I hope you've been doing great. Now, it's time to begin my YouTube channel. Thank you for visiting my channel, by the way. I'm Mabu, Mana, or Manabu. Whatever you call me, I'm so grateful. I'm happy to be here uh, presenting my YouTube channel called Mana College right in front of you today. For those who are new and for those who are waiting, me, uh, waiting for me so badly, thank you so much again. And I'm so sorry to uh, have you keep waiting for the next episode of my YouTube channel. But you know what? I was actually working on what content uh, would be likable for you. Previously, I uh, uploaded uh, some videos uh, about how to be a good person. I discovered it was good result. We hit 10 thousand views which was remarkable for me and also received a good feedback with comments i feel so impressed about that thank you so much as i mentioned as i have mentioned my youtube contents are all for you i received good feedback yeah this means uh, the more i'm liked by people uh, the more receivable my personal personal personality will, will be i kind of assumed that uh, if i was welcomed by people i would be able to be an influential person who everyone knows but before i pop get populated in general public i'm gonna have to uh, speak the language with the right words that right yeah i'm a bi bilingual person with uh, english and japanese well i used to speak mandarin chinese before but i forgot everything anyway based on my language capability at least i, I can communicate and interact with um, billions of millions of people all over the world i believe i'm the one who is able to dis uh, deliver japanese speaking news to all of you who are of interest in japan and it's related to breaking news to be updated. Besides, I'm so intrigued by having a deep conversation with you. So if you have any further suggestion, any topic or anything about Japan, hit me back, okay? Great. Now, let's get jump into today's topic, shall we? Today, we're gonna be discovering language choice. Speaking of uh, the choice of language, what comes up in your mind? When doing business uh, for your clients, for example, you never speak F words, do you? When you have a public speech on a big stage, you never talk about uh, anything to lower your reputation. Look at Donald Trump. He always tried to speak the language with confidence, passion, and uh, business philosophy in a professional way, sometimes uh, with a sarcastic joke. People call him an idiot, but actually uh, that's what he expects. I guess that's a part of his uh, political strategies. He thinks uh, deep and speaks the word intelligent, understandable, and sometimes aggressive. But I'm not talking about his personality. Yeah, he might be a very, very sneaky person, dishonest, or uh, I don't know, whatever. Maybe he can be a liar, but uh, whatever he says, he cho chooses the word just uh, to make America great again. Wait a second. I'm not a, a Republican Party lover, okay? Yeah, I don't even encourage you to be a, like Donald Trump, but I believe he's a, one of the influential people who used to be a, leading the United States. Well, he might be back to the presen presidential election this year soon, but his politics has nothing to do with his personality. What I want to point is here is your personality has nothing to do with your language choice. Language choice uh, makes your personality. Basically, uh, his uh, political activity is conducted by well-chosen language. Likewise, in order to be a greater person, I suggest you uh, might uh, want to challenge the power of language and choice. Well, this skill is important, especially in Japanese society, because we tend to so uh, we tend to be uh, so sensitive and picky about very very small things. I myself. I experienced, uh, I had a bad memory when I worked for the stock and the security firm back in 2023, last year. I was careless enough to take, care, good, uh, take uh, good care of uh, my customers kindly because I was too busy to get knowledgeable uh, or, uh, for, for IT business in infrastructure at the moment. I was so swamped uh, with my work, so I underestimated the customer satisfaction. I would have managed them uh, in a proper business manner, but uh, a customer uh, didn't like my way I did my business so I got kicked out of the company look I believe I was okay generally speaking I would have been acceptable in normal situation but I spoke a bit of something unpleasant for them just one word 
even just one word can uh, make your social position worse. If you mistreat that uh, ch choice of your language, uh, you gotta be aware that uh, your life is gonna be messed up. Japan is a country like that. So I brushed up my uh, language choice. Uh, I changed my mindset and I thought uh, more deeper before practicing in the real, real life. Today, I'm going to be uh, focusing on the influence of language in shaping our lives and relationships. I begin by discussing how people uh, often feel constrained by the expectation, expectations and they were told that uh, they are not smart, leading to a mindset where uh, they feel they have to follow others' instructions. I encourage you uh, to think differently uh, using examples like uh, pra praising people not out of obligation but uh, choice or feeling your uh, preference and uh, making personal decisions uh, based on a desire rather than expectations. Especially I put the importance of understanding teenagers feeling and I propose a uh, shift in language challenging have to to get to and then transforming transforming an uh, obligation into opportunities. People can uh, hate you because you are not a good at language choice. Remember, I lectured uh, you uh, about the honne and the tatemai relationship before. Honne is uh, your honest opinions, your true feelings, thoughts, or intentions. It's easy, to, it's easy to understand the, the, this term and the uh, philosophy of it. But as for tatemai, it might be a little bit harder for you to understand the definition of it because it sounds uh, you tell a lie. It sounds uh, it sounds a lie, but uh, it's a, it's a socially acceptable uh, expression, uh, ex expression as a public face. Let's say uh, your supervisor calls you to stop by his office and he talks about the project and he asks you a question about his idea like, uh, what do you think about body? Yeah, you say, oh, that's great, good idea. Yeah, I like it. That's an expect, ex expected behavior or respond of it for your supervisor. But actually, you find something wrong. Yeah, uh, you uh, you have a bad feeling. You're quite sure uh, something bad is gonna happen if uh, you guys going on uh, uh, you know the project. But you know, your supervisor is asking you for confirmation. Okay. Not your uh, honest opinion or uh, innovative ideas, uh, the better than that, better than him. And if you say no, yeah, he might feel uncomfortable, and you are afraid to get less evaluated. So you say, oh, okay, let's proceed further. No problems. That's basically uh, what Tatema is all about. Yeah, you maintain harmony and avoid the conflict uh, within the inner organizations, and you are encouraged to respect your stupid manager uh, if you are working in Japanese uh, society. So uh, as long as uh, you are not responsible for any loss of a project, you feel all good. Doesn't matter uh, because you are not in charge of your project. You never say, no way, seriously, I really hate the crop. <laughs> if you say that, you're gonna be like me. <laughs> because I said something like that uh, in a previous uh, company, uh, I got kicked out. That's fine. Yeah, I was fed up with them, so uh, I have no regrets or no apologies. But the thing is that uh, most likely uh, people don't want that. So, tatemai is always a useful communication skill in Japanese business and socially acceptable behavior or attitudes that uh, ought to be uh, displayed in public. It also helps you to conform, conform uh, to uh, social expectations and minimize the conflict and then promote harmony. Well, but to be honest, uh, I don't really like that to put tatemai into practice a business manner because uh, I'm, a, I'm an honest person. Sometimes uh, I have to hide my uh, true feelings uh, when it comes to communicating with my upper manager. Yeah, I really hate people uh, flattering and uh, begging them for promotion. Uh, I don't want to get frustrated to talk with people saying like that. Yeah, sometimes uh, it's challenging uh, for people to know uh, as that's genuine intentions. Even if we were, we were uh, old friends, uh, we don't know each other. Yeah, people don't uh, go straight, hide something important within their heart, and then they go around the bush, and suddenly they start saying something 180 degrees different in the last minute. Then you could all respond like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, overall, uh, rather than you give them a compliment, you just tell them like or dislike. 
yeah because uh, you have to explain uh, what 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 do you think of uh, my tie uh, if you uh, evaluate it right so you tell me uh, my tie suits me then i ask you uh, what makes you think what, what what makes you think so you may be uh, panicked <laughs> yeah if i uh, give yeah, if if you give me a compliment or uh, so you know you know you'd rather say i i love your tie yeah uh, i feel good uh, if you tell me so when you f uh, tell people uh, your opinion with your emotion, it's easy to understand. Yeah, uh, joy, happiness, uh, anger, uh, you know, there's something different, uh, something negative. So if you tell them uh, your specific emotions, like, I like you, very, very love you, they feel good. I usually uh, make friends from uh, out of Japan, yeah, like uh, foreign people. Yeah, I mean uh, more than Japanese friends. Yeah, because uh, overseas friends are always open-minded and easy going to uh, for me to me, so I can interact with them without tatemai. But here uh, with Japanese people, uh, I'm not because I don't know uh, what they are thinking. I mean, true feelings, yeah, with, with honne. So uh, I often hesitate to talking to them very, very friendly in the first round when we are out of our office. Yeah, even I ask Japanese people uh, what, they are, uh, what they do for a living. I hesitate. Yeah, th they, they do not uh, tell me uh, what they do. Uh, they tell me uh, their occupation, like I'm working IT for IT industry. And that's it. If they say so, I feel like, oh, they don't want a, a kind of a personal question. You know what I'm saying? So when, uh, when, when I always introduce myself to a new people, I gotta know, I always start with my uh, background and be more specific, specific about my job role and background and uh, with, with, uh, within the team. So uh, of course, you know, cred cred credential information is not disclosed. Yeah, I won't tell them anything that can't be uh, breached, but uh, I can describe uh, how I'm doing IT uh, business operations to help my customers with IT devices such as PC, uh, iPhone, uh, the IT related devices, so that people can uh, easily uh, visualize what I do so for, for, for another example I ask you uh, what do you do and you say I'm a teacher yeah not bad answer but it doesn't mean uh, I'm liking you yeah how are you supposed to answer me right uh, you say I teach English at high school and something like that when I tell my co-workers I make videos on YouTube they ask me what kind of a channel is all about I answer I create educational contents about the Japanese breaking news business culture and self-investment like uh, how to make more money yeah I want to teach people that uh, study is fun I'm so, so happy if people can learn something new only a little bit from my channel well if I uh, when I say so they can uh, easily understand the definition and the purpose of my channel right yeah, they, 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 don't, they don't think I'm making a stupid video, do they? I always try to point a very, very uh, particular objects uh, about how my viewers are going to be able to grow up. I don't just describe what I'm doing on YouTube. Yeah, I make additional comments on how I deliver my message to my viewers on YouTube. So, like and dislike relation is not always linked to a character or talent. I mean, the right choice of your language makes people love you. I always want to have a deeper conversation with you. So if you are a native English speaker, that would be in favor. But just better communication skill is not enough to uh, understand each other. I'm never satisfied with my English uh, capability, even uh, if we can understand each other. I recall uh, what, I, what I was good or bad and how uh, I could improve my language skill when talking with uh, another people who are knowledgeable at the same or higher uh, level of mine. Well, it doesn't matter if you are smart or idiot or you are feel, 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 you are feel free to uh, switch your mindset, but my understanding is that uh, if you want uh, people to like you, you have to uh, make them feel good. And if you make people feel good, uh, they, they, uh, they will want to be around you more. But if you uh, make them uh, feel bad, uh, they will avoid you. It sounds simple, but uh, there are so many uh, ways that uh, you can be loved by everyone. For the first step, uh, in order to uh, capture someone's attention right away, you can just call uh, his name uh, when greeting. Hey, what's up, Mike? How's you? How, how are you doing, Marvel? <laughs> yeah, when people call me uh, like my uh, like my name like that, 
I feel, yeah, I'm so damn good, you. Yeah, something like that. It could be a wide variety of things such as happiness, fun, cool, and whatever positive. But all of these emotions have one thing in common. They feel good uh, when you talk about the positive things. Yeah, you are sharing uh, both words and stories and emotions that uh, go along with them. So if you tell a story about how you are having a fun with the other's name, uh, you feel happiness. I mean, uh, he feel he he feel happiness. There is a time and places uh, for a story like that, but uh, you have to be very very careful about this these uh, types of things, especially if you call their wrong names or mispronounce them name because if you you make them feel comfortable uncomfortable, uh, for sure. So what I do is uh, you know I take note in my own, in my iPhone right here, iPhone right here, yes. And then uh, whenever I gotta know a new people, uh, when I join the party, uh, yeah, you know, the go to the nightclub and introduce to each other. Yeah, I pick up my phone and open MS Note and tap their name and uh, with the right spell because I see uh, many people at the same time and the place. So uh, I can't remember them at, at all once, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh, I just uh, put uh, put the easy names. Uh, and comment their identity and such as national nationality, physical appearance, and the particular features and characters and the personality, if possible. Well, uh, I'm telling you uh, seriously, this is a really incredible technique when you uh, got a contact to many people within a few minutes. Uh, you can forget them uh, later, but uh, for now, it works a lot. If you do that, do uh, do this too often, they start to associate you uh, with all of these positive emotions and interact with you uh, somewhere and uh, somewhere else next time. Swapping your Instagram account uh, will be a good tool as well. All right. So uh, let's call it a day here. So if you uh, learned uh, something new, even only a little bit from my video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe. Okay. I have I have a fun with you. Thanks for watching.